And so I'm very curious to hear, like in the context of what we've been talking about, like how would you describe worldview annealing? Yeah, so uh, for background, like uh, annealing is a, um, is a, is a, I guess like operation that you can do in metallurgy. That is like the original context. So if you, if you take um, a cliffhanger, um, is that what it's called? Yeah, cliffhanger, no. Um, a hanger, yeah, sorry, a ha hanger where you hang on your clothes, right? Like this metallic hanging. If you, you know, bend it uh, a bunch of times, the metal becomes uh, brittle, right? And then, then it's kind of like easy to break apart even without like specialized tools, right? So if you look at like what's happening at the at atomic scale to the metal when you're like bending it over and over, is that um, you're adding lots of tiny uh, imperfections and stress faults in the lattice structure of the metal. In other words, like the, the atoms stop being symmetrically aligned and they become, um, yeah, there, there's like fault lines essentially in, in the crystal lattice. Um, but then, you know, if you take one of these um, hangers uh, that is in this like very um, uh, brittle state, and then you heat it over uh, in fire, and then you let it cool down slowly, you're gonna notice that it's not brittle anymore. So, so mm -hmm. heat itself did something kind of magical to it. Um, and really what's going on there is this process where the heat actually disorders the crystal lattice even more, but then the slow process of cool down um, allows the atoms to essentially reorganize into a symmetrical lattice again. So mm. it's one of these very puzzling, interesting cases where you get order via adding disorder first. Uh, it's you, 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 you first kind of like break apart the stress, internal stress patterns, and then, then you can uh, um, actually achieve like a much more symmetrical configuration. 